Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. We're taking a look here at my only Jabotic Harbour. That's, uh, I think it's Plinia Cauliflora. This is, uh, I believe, a Sabara type, I think they call it, with these uh, shape and size leaves. Um, when I bought it out in the spring, it suffered complete defoliation and I decided to repot it as well which was a bit of a shock to it um, and it carried on losing all its leaves in fact all these stems here are actually dead I haven't cut them off yet I decided to leave them but I'm relieved that it has put on further back down the stems it's put on lots of new growth in fact a couple of shoots quite surprisingly look at the length of that that's put on about that's about an 8 inch shoot that put on there, now that was hidden amongst the others so that's about um, 20 centimetres so that's really surprised me. Uh, now the decision I've got to make is where I'm going to overwinter it, um, I don't really want to risk it in the summer house and there won't be any room in there for it anyway but I think the best thing to do, well obviously it'll have to go into my house but I haven't decided yet whether to put it in the front room, it's my dining room in a shady position or whether or not it should be amongst the other plants in the kitchen. It did get a bit overwhelmed by the other plants last winter and it was underneath a plant that got a mealy bug infestation which then dropped all the mealy bugs and sticky stuff on this which probably didn't help. Um, I probably won't bother trimming this these dead twiggy growths off at the moment, I'll just leave them. I don't think it's going to die back anymore um, but it's you know, it has put out new shoots, so I just hope that it doesn't have any further shocks over winter. It should be, the roots should be getting well established now in this new pot of compost. And I don't think I'll have to repot it for four or five years because they quite like small pots and it might force it to flower a bit younger as well. We'll have to see what happens. But I just thought I'd shout out to the people interested in what I call the true tropicals, and that's the... Uh, Jabotic Harbour, I think it's also known as a Brazilian grape and they're very unusual because the flowers and fruits actually appear directly off the main stems not off the tips of new shoots so you have to spend a few years getting the trunk and main stems up to a decent size sorry about any background shouting from the neighbours you have to get the main trunk and stems up to decent size before they'll actually flower and fruit but I'm hoping one day I know a couple of people have successfully got fruit over here off their Jabotic Arbors and I've seen pictures of them in fruit and flower which is fantastic so I'm hoping one day I might better do the same with this. Probably have to have it about seven or eight years, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, I much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. You're welcome to share the video if you think it might interest anybody. Please subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.